Hey what's up guys, this is my video series on the top 15 best root apps for Android. In this episode, I will be showing you the first 5 apps and in my next 2 episodes, I will be showing you the other 10 apps. So without any further ado, let's begin. And before starting, I would like to say that all the apps requires root access, that is you must be rooted to use these apps. The first one here is the rec. Basically, this app records your screen. So this is the interface. Over here, you need to give in your video resolution. You can just give in your bitrate, the duration of the video. Since this is the free version, you are limited to 5 minutes of video recording. Uh, you need to get the pro version for unlimited recording. You also can check audio if you want to record the audio as well. Uh, once done, you can just hit record and the recording will start. Once the recording is started, uh, you will get the notification and you can tap here to stop it. The recorded file will be saved on your internal memory inside the rec folder. So guys, a very handy app if you want to record your screen. The next one here is the iFont. This app provides you with different fonts in various languages like English, Japanese, Korean, etc. So guys, you can choose your language from here and then select the font from this huge list. Select the one you like and hit download. So you get tons of fonts here, uh, just download the one you like. Once you have downloaded the font, you can just hit set and then grant the super user permission. So if you like to customize your system font, then this is the best app for you. The next one here is the auto hide soft keys. With this app you can simply hide the soft keys from the screen. Most of the devices like HTC One M8, Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 comes with on screen navigation buttons which can be handy at times but are there even when you don't need them like when you are scrolling on a web page or playing games etc. But with this application you can get rid of the default navigation keys and instead have a custom navigation keys which you can access by swiping up from the bottom. This app replaces your default navigation keys and replaces it with its own navigation keys to go back, home and the running apps. Not just the navigation keys but this app also brings a very handy feature called screen off which will turn off the display without having to press any physical keys. We also can select themes like if you want the soft keys of Xperia or any other devices, you can do that from here. You can select the color of the quick bar, buttons etc. The pro version will provide you with additional features. So a very useful app for those devices having on-screen navigation buttons. The next one here is the system app remover. Basically you cannot remove system applications that you get pre-installed with your phone. There are so many bloated apps that you get with your phone. So with this app you can remove such applications. So guys right now I'm using the Galaxy Note 3. As you can see I cannot remove apps like S Voice or any other apps like Chat On. So with this app I can do that. Let me just show it to you. So guys with this app you can uninstall unnecessary apps that takes off your space and uh, unnecessary bloated apps that you get from your manufacturer. 
The last one for today's episode is the stick mount. For devices that does not support OTZ out of the box, this app enables the OTZ support on any rooted devices. That means with the help of an OTZ cable, you can plug in your pen drive, hard disk, etc. to your smartphone and access your multimedia files, documents on the go. So you save up your phone memory as you can carry all your multimedia files on your pen drive or your hard disk and access it anywhere you want with the help of an OTZ cable directly from the phone. So that's all for this video guys, thanks a lot for watching, I'll be coming up with the next episode very soon, stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.